not be able for send any be then 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 post out today because it kept a cool work and you know that you know that this can clean it. Mm. So we want to send to my. Okay. Yeah, send all money you want yeah. together and together. Yeah, together, yeah. Because you can see that if that wins you would run. Hello. Hello Esther, how are you? Hope you're well. Oh yeah. Hmm. Hello everyone. Hello. Thank you for joining. Hello, everyone. Mm. I'm sitting down in my office today. Hi. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hi, Esther. Hope you're well. Mm -hmm. Did you enjoy your queen queen? <laughs> Did you enjoy your queen queen? Hmm? You enjoy queen queen? You can't also wear the can for you to buy. Hey. Hello, Viveka. How are you? Auntie Safidin. How you do? How you do? I want them to join me today. Oh, Lord, tell we pick people let like we tell we picking and pump and plane where we stand in violence in marriage because we don't get a hypocritical message for too long yes we don't get a hypocritical message for too long so we want let them know clearly and myself said while let all man know clearly Usai Kadi Fresh stand in this issue. Yes. I want let all man know Usai me stand in this issue. Because me na one of the few people them <coughs> we don't choose for tell woman then say walk away from a man. Hello sister Alima, how are you? Yeah, we missed you yesterday in our topic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yes, I missed you yesterday. Yeah. I am one of the few people that have told women to get out of a marriage. Yes, I am one of the few people. When they say, God, mommy, no, they take nonsense. Me, I want pandem. We tell the girl, say, hey. Now two things I man not for do to you. Man not for cost you, mama. Man not for knock you. Any man with fashion for cost you, it they put you down. Both psychologically and physically. You go ask me, say how it they put you down physically. Because it they torture your brain. And when it torture your brain, that torture the then thing the way it they tell you that cost way they cost you it they put you down and over a long run that will affect you physically so that man where they beat you and that man where they cost you now the same leffa divorce some i bring this topic today because throughout this for where this lady died this musician died all man just be asking me, Kadidi, I can't talk about this. What do you feel? Because I don't tell a marriage. Yes, now we don't tell a marriage. But we're not old school marriage, now we get. Old school marriage, then now we get. When we're young, now different kind of marriage. 
na different kind of expectation una get na una love na different kind of approach una get to love so we have to revisit we have to revisit me na one pan the people and say when they can tell me say come eh kadikangi advice to this couple me na one pan the people are waking barantao i can say one for advice therefore let them go with the flow and i mean they think say when i say let them go with the flow that means them for accept any mess where the man want for do to them or them for just patient and then i'm because me myself self me kadi me patient and then i'm idols no it's no longer acceptable it's no longer acceptable for say man go to torture you psychologically by cursing you by beating you and we we sit down and we gonna say eh? well you know my head na so eternal na phobia na lie it's not true that is not true it is absolutely not true. This lady where them the way a man display pass, so say this lady died. That man they don't psychologically hurt that lady so much. And now it begins for physically hurt the lady. What do you mean by physically hurt the lady? If you beat her. If he cuss her, if he tell her off, because then he say psychological torture. It's when when you when psychological torture, it not only left psychological. Because at the end of the day, the psychological torture it they manifest into physical symptoms, blood pressure, blood pressure, hypertension, stress. High levels of stress. Yes. So I wonder we can't sit down today. Oh. Now we can't tell we young picking and today tell them say because me not me don't marry done. Me don't then a manus done. Me don't go through me own manus. It don't it don't how we go through and waiting at the consequences of all the things I go through is okay. That in an old school. But now we want for let we talk to we young man and say then woman then don't change woman then don't change your if you knock her if you cuss them and if you treat them bad we they support them for making work out of that marriage and any side we see on the street now we go gladly for receiver recently that last wedding we were at attend a wedding, yes. That last wedding we were at attend. I meet one young girl where he and the man they can shop now. Anytime when they can shop and they come together. If you see them, they're coming from far. They met when they were young. Anytime when they can shop, they will shop happily. And then go leave. But when he can't to for pay, the woman go to call the man. You know, pay it to try go pay. I begin notice small, small body languages. Body languages. I be talking to me at this is not a happy couple at all. The reason why make the man in the cow and together for can buy buy for can shop not so because he love and come and see us a happy couple. No, he the follow him because he want for monitor. Yes, he want for monitor what in the titi they buy, how then they shop, and how then go go cook them, and how then go eat them. I look, I look, I look, I think. Hmm. When did Titi go take two? You go say, why? You know, go take one first. Next week, you can't take the other one. But you know, go cook one cassava leaf for plenty picking there. I did watch. I did watch. 
But when they go go, then go then it go only hand or two go go na do then go go inside the motor car then go drive off. But experience my do man, I know that it's not normal. I think can I meet elephant so. So when I go that wedding day and meet the titi after three years I not see him. And meet the titi, she was so happy, she was dancing. I said, Hey, you lost so now. Tell me, say, ah, Mama, now because me and that man be non part, we go through a rough moment. Blah blah. Say, ah, I knew it in my mind. I was just like, I knew it, I knew it, and no say something. So, with the call on them young girl, then where they shame. The reason why that city be the worker so it they make it a cover, like for say, oh, this is all good, everything is going good. Now, because it be the shame, it is shame and it is afraid for, for, for come out for say, I'm not happy with this relationship. So she put up this facade, she put up this face, we're gonna make you think for say, oh. This is a happy couple. They have come from far. They have big kids. They know exactly where they are going. It's not, it's not true. It was not true. So my family, what you observe, where they make people in the line at the maridos for say, then they in a happy home. Now because then they afraid. What you will go call her for the eye seeing of men. Then they shame for waiting me and you go talk. <clears throat> then they shame because all along, all the advice that we people, we young people, and they get now for say, Oh, my daughter's not for beer. Oh, my daughter's not for beer. Now the advice that they no more with them in the get. He said, I don't see Sidona. You know what you mean by a Sidona this Maridos? I be a me man. What is that? What is that? It has to stop. Because then woman, the way they be a man, then they go through torture for nothing. Man, they psychologically torture you by treating you bad. They control you like for say, now in the control, let's like say you now in, in, in small sister. You they go walk, you know they respect. Say you self they bring money. Not to say no more na na then one day way way na the man they no more they walk then sit on house. Not so down they no more. No no no, it doesn't end at that. There is the other part where you they go work in they go work, but you know respect you work. What do you mean by you no know respect you work? Something happened with the picking na school. He call you. He tell you say, hey, they say for go pick. I'm in a school. Why he no just go pick? I'm in a school. Why he they call you for tell you say left you your job and go pick? I'm in a school. Why he no left you your job and he go pick? I'm in a school. He no respect your job. That's why they do that. Una relax now also now they enjoy they have a nice time. You get a call from you work. They say, oh, please, can you cover for somebody? But already, you know, say, you and this, you boss, and I don't arrange, say, if you need something, if you need for them to cover for you, they'll cover for you. So when they call you, you should be available to cover for somebody. It's an agreement. When you go for go cover for somebody, or God on vex. Because what you do, that means na get for go pick the pikine, na get for left foot the pikine, na get for this. And mind you, this thing where they talk not to say na one direction, eh? Na both ways. Because not to man the normal they they, they touch a woman there. But this one, na for the man them where they touch the woman there, psychologically and physically. Ika, two things. The man beat you. The man they cost you, waka komot. And me, and me paddy them. 
me and then so-called big woman there in the community we no go talk about you bad we no go gossip about you we no go tell you say you do wrong because what we don't realize we don't realize say most of the young girl and they afraid for come out of their marriages there because then the shame but waiting auntie go see then the shame but waiting she see kadi go feel then the shame but waiting the next person the neighbor that in party within a happy loving home go feel we want to reassure you that it's not gonna happen anymore we no go feel bad if you decide for walk out of your marriage because now you taught you elephant aid now you want green no waiting you own what you taught now you know how we ab now you aid that woman don't die with a nice wonderful musician oh that lady day i feel so sad when i see in death because two years ago before the corona the christmas before corona we go to one we in laws there now the music them in the play as gospel music you know some people are very very religious even when they call you for dinner or for party they know they play social music now religious gospel music now they play and all so now the music them in the play here is sister so we be then listen to them music there and then i ask i say oh what are this lady it is in the get fine it get fine tone it get fine beat and everything I say in, in songs they go so deep into your heart even though we know they understand the language the evil language but we really really they enjoy the song because it they really speak to you now i say they say oh now some twin lady there now then they sing so he say yes i say oh okay so from that day i don't like the music i they listen to the music on and off once in a while People and go send me their, their, their music, then they I go catch up. So I know about her, even though me not a Christian, I know they go to church, I know they listen to that kind of music. Then they that lady they don't can die. What thing happened to this lady? Mother of four children, just later no more, he died. Now we don't find out, say. The husband then don't arrest her. Ow. In the end, they say that the husband they torture her. The husband they abuse her. The husband did this. The husband did that. That's not sweet. That's not a nice story. What in what in what in this girl go don't do? Number one, jealous. He go down jealous say in which they get all the attention number two in other respect for a working job if you get respect for a working job he go no say when in which don't reach that level day of popularity that level day of of command of crowd control he go get all kind of people away go come around them for help in no respect in working job just ex like what they talk some man they don't respect your the wife then job. It thought you were gonna happen at that marriage day. Money matter. Me the monkey the walk babu they eat. Yes, see in whatever way you want for sure. Monkey the walk babu they eat. The girl they sing, the man don't get gold mine. Yes, he don't get gold mine. Now in the enjoy. Now the lady they walk. The lady no go get right for do anything when he want for do. Hey people, una make we watch, una make we learn, una make we observe. We they learn from news where you hear it from far. Because of that, we they learn from news where we hear it from far. And me today, when I look up. I blame the congregation around them. I blame the other pastors. I blame the other God mommy the way they around this the them people there. I blame the church environment. This is not exactly the same thing will be the happen at the mosque environment then. And I'm so happy when nowadays young girls then a mosque, then they walk off, they left the man they I married. 
You say you want for marry two women there. I walk off. You you want for beat me? I walk off because the imam them begin for tell. So now the same thing me they ask them pastor there. Yeah. Because the way we I see woman them, how then they honor them pastor there. Yeah. Me I see I see one woman na treat the way we in need don't he walk in need a ground for greeting pastor. Eh? Now pastor he they greet so what? Why look the pastor first? I was like. What is that? The way where this woman bang in Nina ground for greet the pastor. I said this is ridiculous. I think my phone man, where the woman don't know who can they talk? I say, who is that? Ah, it's my pastor. He's a great man of God. That was my body language. That was my body language. And she understood exactly what I felt and what I thought. The way where we the the way where the congregation around we the way where we congregation them around we they take them pastor, they take this church environment and they make a like for saying a heaven. Like for say the pastor where she don't pat up yanda na ina the God. So whatever we in the talk now, he let them say you want to belong to the married women class. So you know what for upset you, pastor. You know what let you pastor no say so and so they happen na host. You they can't talk on a street. Una get una Bible verse them. We we una de use for convince them young girl they are. Hey, make I tell you. Then banner God mommy they are na Facebook. Then don't come for can tell them picking and they back say. No see don't any marry those women they curse you, women they beat you. No care about no God mommy and God daddy. No care about nobody care about you self. God mommy and God daddy they die tomorrow I left you. It don't left you and you picking them and suffer. Not listen to no God, mommy. We go tell you say he are married na for beer. Married not to for beer. Na lie. Married na love. Married na procreation. And married na love to be together. Exactly. Ostina, hello my darling. How are you? Ostina says, live if you want to live. Live if you want to survive. Me every week now I go can talk come. Live if you want to survive. Live if you want to get old. Although you know what's in the talk now the church. You have to belong. This is not the married women community. This is not the this and the man himself go the worker. Then go the feel. This is not the same message we are bring can yesterday. Oh, them man here they don't know what's in the new woman. They don't know what's in the gun in the head, in the minds of the new woman. Dear Abego, Una call them, Una call them man name for me, Una tell them, say, until Una see them, then woman and don't ready for Una. Woman know they die again. If na violence no more, Woman know they die again. We support you if you want to walk out of your marriage. No woman no go can't tell me, say, I don't divorce me, man. I see you as bad. Why not? If you don't like it, you don't like it. If he's not treating you well, get out. Get out before it's late. That church, that church, the outside that lady, the, the way they sing so. One pandemic woman, they, they, now that congregation, they don't know, say, that woman, they, 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 they beat her house. Who, 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 how dare you beat a 40 48 year old 46 year old girl woman how dare you beat her oh that's not you so me are they calling her all oh are they calling her all let it go down on the record say me now one part the people away they tell you say if you man they cost you now walk out 
If you man they beat you, walk out. If you man they beat you, begin them. Run away with you, begin them. Because the next moment now you they can beat. If he they beat you, sorry. If he they curse you, he curse you, mama. He curse you. Walk out. If he they beat them, begin them. Walk out. Because I tell you, 100% guarantee, the next one are you they beat. Because he has the violence in him. If he cannot go for treatment, and even the kind of treatment, the quality of the treatment, they were if I go take over. Because not to that, that lie lie treatment, they say he don't go for counseling. Not to that kind of treatment, they will. Hey, when I look me, he oh, writes on my face. Anybody will pick me for God, mommy, you know what I've been telling you from the one. I've been telling you, say, if he curse you, walk out. If he beat you, walk out. If he beat them, picking them, walk out. Because the next one, now you they can beat. Now, that woman don't die. He don't die. He don't let him picking them. He don't let him picking them. Sometimes the man be don't see what woman where it be the eye. Or sometimes the money where the woman don't accumulate is so much. He won't control the woman. He no get way. The congregation is to blame, my sister. The congregation is to blame. I blame the church congregation. I blame the people around. Well, now that make me a say. I come out on the record for tell you say, you young girl, you young woman, you young man, if you woman, they take advantage of you by beating you, by cursing you, and by beating the kids, run away. Because the next target is you. If you love me, you know they beat me. On, uh, on uh, Saturday, me and my man with 29 years in marriage. A shame for put her out there. A shame. Because when we put her out there, it go make May people and things say, Hey, me said, I want to be 29 years in marriage. Now, lie, oh, now old school marriage. Now, old school marriage. Yes, now old school marriage. No, 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 don't copy it. If it's not right for you, don't stay. Don't walk away. Now, old school marriage, me and in na school, we meet, and one day, you not knock me, one day, you not cost me. I get a very big mouth, a very, very big mouth, a very sharp mouth, and I know how to defend myself in a corner. But I tell you, if he dare, I walk away. And now, I just want you people for no say, let Kadifresh go on the record that waiting kill that girl. Na shame, na him kill that girl. Shame, na him make them kill that girl. You not able for talk. Yes, shame. Na him make them kill the girl because it is shame for let it be say all them the senior pastors then they then they around in no married. And, and how ego can go through a divorce, and how ego can do this, how ego can do that. Well, it is a shame because them big people they are around, then go see her, then go say, Look, this is not married. Hey, I beg you, me, young big person, I no go tell you that. Me, young big person, I go embrace you because I know say you run away because you want to leave. The judgment. Of we the big one them, the judgment of we the senior one them. Now we make make people young one them they stay na maridos they suffer. Now we make me then they suffer na maridos. Now we make make because we want for we want for sure they say hey look me oh I don't marry for so long. 
Who cares? Big deal. Now you your happiness. Now you young. You don't marry for so long. Now you your luck. But me, me man they knock me at the commodity. Me, me man they cost me at the commodity. Me, me man they beat them picking them. And they run away with me picking. You man beat you. He cost you. He beat them picking them. Run away. And when they say he, he beat you, you know me say, because now eh? Now, you know say, people they talk against beat. So you know go beat you, but he go treat you some kind of way. And I don't wait and they go to treat you. Now I'm going to kill you in a yard. And I that go lead you to your quick death. So not a bit no more. Psychological mishandling. All now and day. We not accept again. We not accept again. No. So you. You. Then I marry those. Just because you want to let them say. You married. See don't they die they come meet you but I want let you know say people let like Kadi say don't stay run away run away because life is short and life is short no make them man can kill you then that money where you they walk that money where you they walk if they can't take her he go back he go marry another queen he don't go marry that, another queen, he began to come back. And that queen then and they can't suffer because anything we go on for talk now. You meet me a gently. Now man we don't do one before. He go do her again and again and again and again and again. Yes. So this is my position. I want you people to know that this is where I stand. This is where I stand. I don't want to let, let people let doubt and self say, oh, Sisi Kadi, let we don't turn and marry those so now then go de, now then go de. I don't go want to let Sisi Kadi they feel like, ah, 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 ah. Me, oh, me. Marry those not right for you. Walk away. Walk right away. And left and day. Walk away with your children. Walk away with your life. If it costs you for only walk away with one bag, walk away, you will survive. Anyway. Exactly, Mimi. Mimi, Mimi said, this is how everybody was shouting, Cora, go back and beg her husband. Yes, he's the narcissistic one. It is so true. It's so true. A man that dares to hit you is a narcissist. He wants to control you. He wants to tell you how to live your life. And if you refuse, get ready for his reaction. Yes. Anybody will tell you, be an amaredos. Be an amaredos. For waiting. Maredos na for beer. Anybody me and you, me and you, please. Una may we change that. May we change that word today. Maredos not for beer. Maredos not for enjoy. I beg una. Una may we change our ass from today. No advice nobody say, hey, my sister married Trangao na for beer. No advice nobody that advice they is wrong. Leave when you can. And that is it. Leave when you can before he starts to be crazy on you. Leave when you can. Because that sign way don't show you. Where is he begin beat them picking them? Hot temper. He beats them picking them. He they beat you ma. Trust me. He they beat you ma. And you know, when he beat you, any man where they beat picking them. Any man where they beat in picking. That picking day, insect they grow up for beats. Yes. Unless they go through therapy. That's why some people and they say, no. If you come from a traumatized home, I don't want my child to get married there. Because once it don't beat, it they beat again. It they beat again and it they beat again. Cassandra Judge says, Na jealous pandemande yasu. 
all this religiosity done to me. That is it, Cassandra. That's exactly what I'm talking about. What is all this religion, this madness? And most of the time, you will see the church is full of women. The church is full of women. It's true. She says, some of these pastors are very stupid for telling people to stay in those abusive marriages. Exactly. Exactly. They are. And you know, watch. Watch, Cassandra. You watch them now. They are watching the tides. As the tides are changing, these pastors are going to change again. They are going to come back to you and start telling you, don't stay. Me, I never beat my woman. I never this. I ne you go see them. Then go change back. Then go begin telling you the same rubbish. Yes. Religion is only tells women and not men. Yes. Sister Alima says, have you noticed? Religion only tells women and not men. I don't understand. This is what I was saying yesterday. The men and these, they are, they are religious men. They are not in sync with the revolution that is taking place around them. This is what I meant by men empowerment. They are not in sync. This is men empowerment coming from a woman's perspective. It is not, when I talk about a woman's, a man's empowerment, I am not telling you about m how men should be strong. You go do? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. I'm not telling you how men should be strong and should, should help to, 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 to fight their wives and things. That's not what men's empowerment means. Men's empowerment is for you to be in sync with the, uh, evolu the evolution that has taken place in a woman. Because the men are not aware of that evolution. All they are thinking about is their macho-ness. I'm strong. I'm, I'm the one who has to pro provide for my family. What? You have to provide for your family? Only you? Why? It's because you don't respect my income. You don't respect my work. So, hey, come here. Let me educate you. Let me educate you. Let me tell you that for you to be empowered, you have to recognize my evolution. Whichever way you are saying it, women have evolved. And one of the evolutions is for, the, for me to come out to you and tell you that Please, sisters and brothers, stop telling a woman to stay in a marriage where they are suffering. That is an evolution. Because, do you know why it's an evolution? Because naturally, me having been for 29 years in my marriage, I should be coming to you and telling you that, eh, na for biao, oh, you have to be patient in marriage. No! That word, it's, 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 it makes me go crazy when somebody tells people you have to be patient in marriage. Why should you be patient in marriage? It is, Mimi, Mimi says, it's all social conditioning. It is. Well, that social conditioning that women went through, that pressure, we are going to turn it upside down on the head of the men. And tell them, you have to condition yourself. You have to recondition yourself to understand that women are no longer going to pick that. Mimi, when I said that psychological torture is not only psychological, it is physical as well. Because you are just saying it there. You are so correct. When your heart is broken, when your mind is sad, your heart is broken, you are physically sick. Somebody has made you sick. And that sickness has manifested your heart. It has manifested in your heart. You start having heart complaints. 
you start going to hospital. When they want to talk, they say, oh, now menopause they go through. Not only menopause, she's going through problems. She's going through issues. She's having issues at home with that husband. She's suffering in silence. And why should we accept it? Women, I'm calling you. Oh, sorry. I'm calling you to please, please change, change the dynamics for one another. Let us change the dynamics for one another by telling one another that a divorce is not a death sentence. As a matter of fact, a divorce shows that you are a strong woman. And when we say you are a strong woman, we are not telling you that you are a strong woman because you can fight a divorce. No, you are a strong woman because you made up your mind to survive. You have made up your mind to survive. Too much of this, too much of this, this church, too much of this church, too much of this religion, telling young people, telling young women, telling is only the women that they are telling to be patient it's only you never hear the come they say ah we don't talk to a man let be around here no we don't talk to a man let be around here we never hear that it's always the woman has to be at the man the woman has to be at the man no please i want us anybody who says that they are going through a divorce they are going to get a divorce. Let us pat them in the back. Give them, give them some courage and tell them, you are going to be fine. You are going to be okay. It's not the end of your life. Don't stay in that marriage. Don't stay. Don't stay. We pat each other on the back now and tell each other, yes, you are doing the right thing. There is nothing shameful anymore in walking away from a toxic relationship. There is nothing wrong. And these pastors, these congregations, they are sitting down there. They see this woman is suffering. They know. Nobody should tell you that the pastor did not know. The pastor know. The chief rabbi, the chief uh, bishop of that big, that's a massive congregation they are in. They all know that this woman is suffering. But poor woman, she wants to belong. She wants to belong. And she ends her life by committing suicide. Because of course that's suicide. When you accept to go through a suffering in marriage, that's suicide. Complete suicide. I know that in Sierra Leone, it's even worse. This church epidemic in Sierra Leone is worse. Oh, when I see some women, I'm so sad for them. I'm so sad for them because they are so trapped in this, in this, in this system that is still telling them about, uh, about things that happened 2,000 two years ago. Or even over 2,000 years ago because these things... This Old Testament happened before Jesus Christ. They happened before Jesus Christ. You start quoting Deuteronomy for me. You start quoting the book of Ruth. What? When we are more enlightened in 2022, I just want to ask, I just want to ask you to please understand and know when somebody is suffering in silence and tell them get out of there it's not worth it get out of there it's not worth it you don't have to be in such a, in such sadness in such sadness me i want you to let i want everybody to know i want you to go down on the record that that's what I say. If love no rights, pack you bundle and go. If man curse you, if man curse you, walk away. Man beat you, walk away. He beats them, pick in there. 
pack you picking them and run away he's not going to change sister alima says master you're not put sand in there no they can't put it in a rubber pack they want okay i'll put them let go put them yeah we'll go pick up later yeah. okay is it ready yeah Okay. Sister Alima says the church subjugating women to the 1800s and FGM used that is 2,000 years ago for women to be good wives. We have to stop the brainwashing. <laughs> it's sad. It's sad, Sister Alima. And Victoria James Tina Kamara is asking me, Auntie, please, do they put groundnut in potato leaves? Yes, you can put a little bit of groundnut if you want. If you haven't put ogiri, you can put groundnut. But sometimes uh, uh, I prefer just putting ogiri. But if you don't like ogiri, then yes, go ahead and put groundnut. Sister Alima, I'm going to come back to you on that. You said the church is subjugating women to, to the 1800s. And FGM used that 2,000 years ago for women to be good wives. Very correct. Yeah, now I make a bit of ask you what you want. Yeah. Okay, give me that one It's so correct, Sister Alima. This thing about Bondo. Me, I'm, me I don't call it FGM. Eh? In my community, I don't call it FGM because people are trying to let it be fgm what is fgm no 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 i'm not talking about fgm i'm talking about bondo my dad before they put us bondo he told my my mom i have gone to ask the imam if bondo is something that has to be done and the imam told my dad that you don't necessarily have to do bundle. You know what I'm Yes. Now let this Peter uh, tell you. No, I can put Peter. You went tired. I will come tomorrow for come by the cream. Boy, I wish you'd be saying you want cream. Yeah. Cream. You want frozen one? Uh, I get a good cancel. Yeah, why not? You know, go to. Can't you, ma'am? <laughs> <laughs> That 2,000 year old tradition is what they are pressing us on. And my dad asked the Imam, hey, do we still have to do it? And the Imam said to my dad, no. You don't have to do it. But because my mom lived in that, in that society, where she has been conditioned to think that me picking a me girl picking a for go bundu. That is why they did it. And then we came out, Sister Alima, and we said, Me young girl picking not the go bundu. And I don't care who feel embarrassed about it or not. We didn't care. It's the same thing. Thing we are going to get up and say to the men me young girl picking if you curse them if you 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 curse them if you beat them and if you beat the picking them me young girl picking for walk away with pride that we have to press on you see sometimes whenever you and I are talking sister Alima I'm telling you that the revolution will not take place until we drag the men to the table. When we drag the men to the table, the revolution will take place. Changes will happen. Yes. And that change is going to happen the same way how you are empowering the women. It's the same way we are going to empower the men. From a woman's perspective, it's not from the man's perspective. Empower the, women, the men from a woman's perspective. This is what we are expecting you to bring to the table, sir. If you don't have this and this and this, please do not come to the table. This is exactly.
exactly what we mean by men's empowerment. Because we have talked to ourselves. The women have talked to themselves. The women are now strong. We are seeing the results. We are seeing the effect. But now, we are going to drag the men and say, look, we have come this far. And now it's time for you also to prepare to come this far. Last night I was arguing with somebody. She said, there cannot be a men's empowerment. Men's empowerment, women's empowerment was not about telling the woman to go and start beating the husband and start fighting back. No. So it's the same men's empowerment. It's not about you going to show your wife that you are strong, that you have power, you have strength. No. We told you to be strong to know what to tolerate that is what women's empowerment was all about what you could tolerate so now is the same thing mr man the woman said they can tolerate things to this point you what can you tolerate let's have that open conversation let's talk about it let's bring it out let us drag the men to the table because now we have empowered the women the women are now strong they are waiting for the man but this man ignorant and pompous as he is he doesn't understand what the woman is trying to talk about. He thinks that the woman is saying that I am now strong. I can also know. She's saying to you, I now understand how we can get on in life together. How we can cohabitat. How we can cooperate. How we can take care of our children. How we can, in short, procreate. So for us to procreate harmoniously together, we need to come to the table and understand each other. What are you going to understand for me? You are going to understand for me that you have to respect my job. You have to respect my children. You have to respect what I bring to the table. You have to respect my opinion. And you and I have to share what we are doing together thank you namesake tiger caddy you have to level up ah what a beautiful word thank you sister alima it's time to empower our men and boys but they have to understand that this empowering we are talking about it's not to tell them that they are strong they have to go and bring and be the breadwinners alone no that's not what we are telling them. We are telling them that you and I are the breadwinners of this family. You and I have to talk about who picks up the children. You and I have to talk about how do we cook? Who gets home first? Cooks. Who, 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 can, who gets called by the school? Picks up the child. If it's your telephone number that is there, Pick up the child. If it's my number that is there, don't expect me to always pick up the child. When they call, when they call from school to say the child is not feeling well, call me and tell me that, are you very busy? Can you pick up the child? Oh no, I am having a meeting at 2.30. Um, honey, is it possible that you pick up the child? Or my husband has a very, very busy job but me too my job is very busy let me call him today and see if he can sneak out for a while women don't get the opportunity to do that the only thing you will hear a woman say my husband has a very very busy job he will not be able to do it that is wrong that mindset have to change your mind your husband has a very busy job your job is equally as important because both of you are bringing something to the table today you are bringing it 50 50. yeah you are bringing it 50 50. 
Nowadays, you don't all just stay home and work from home, be a housewife and just take care of the kids. And even if you are a housewife and taking care of the kids, that is work enough. Who pays you for that? Nobody pays you. You can equally go out and work and come home with that money to pay a nanny. But you chose to do that. That is a good thing. You are well commended. So nobody should tell you that the job of a housewife is not a work. It is work. You made a sacrifice to do it. It is work. And you should get commended for that. So it means he goes out of the, the work house to work. You stay at home and work. But you are working. You are ironing his clothes. He should be taking it to the dry cleaners. You are cleaning the house. You should have a cleaner who cleans the house. Why should it be only your responsibility? You are taking the school, picking up and dropping the school runs. You are doing the school runs. Somebody has to do it if the two of you are not doing it. So in as much as you are not taking that finance outside, you chose yourself to do it. So Madam Housewife, yes, you are working. You are working. And that means you are also invested in the finances of the marriage. So it's both of you that are bringing in. Whether you are at home or not, it is both of you bringing it in. You are both contributing. So the, the, that thing about, uh, oh, the man they go work. So now me one again they left now also them picking it. So why don't you go to work? You go to work because you chose to stay. Thank you, Sister Kadi. She says, setting proper boundaries in relationship is so important. It's so important. We, we are no longer empowering the women. No. We are no longer empowering the women. Because when we empower the women, we risk tipping the balance. Because then now the men are going to say that I'm not going to go into a relationship where the woman is in control because she feels empowered, emancipated. It's true. It's because you, the man, are not empowered. You are not knowledgeable about the empowerment that has been going on in the life of that woman. And one thing I have to let people know. From the day a, a girl child is born, there has been an empowerment going on. There have been an empowerment, a conditioning going on. And those conditioning is to let that girl child know that know your place, know your place, know your place. What about the boy? Who tells the boy to know his place? Nobody. All they are just telling the boy, oh, you're not boy picking. Oh, you're not boy picking. Well, it's high time somebody tells the male child their own position and their own empowerment. Yes. If you know that you're a man and you know that you have to share 50-50 in a marriage, that is going to end up in a loving relationship. A loving relationship, a loving marriage, you're going to live long and your children are going to be happy and you are going to contribute to the country by delivering beautiful citizens. But if the man is not empowered, only the woman is empowered, we are going to have a sad, sad situation in our hands where the man is always going to walk out of the family. Why is he walking out? Because he doesn't understand this new woman. He doesn't understand her. All he's thinking is that, oh, she was supposed to be the woman. She was supposed to do the cooking. She was supposed to do the washing. She was supposed, 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 supposed. You know go left for slow. This one, so for what's that? Let me pick it down there. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Uh -huh. that this one back pico, this pick. Now this a pick, yes. Now this is your one I not pick. Yeah. Nine box, okay. Yeah, box. Okay.
Yes. So this suppose, 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 suppose. Always. The woman is supposed. The woman is supposed. The woman is supposed. What about you, the man? What are you supposed? Yeah. So we have to level up, Sister Tiger Caddy. We have to level up. Let them come on board and let them get empowered. Yes, time to empower the men. Yes. But this is not about men's empowerment today, what I want to talk about. This is also going back to relationship. Relationship, my dears. Relationship. Relationship comes from two ways. If this man beat you, this man curse you. This man beats them, picking them. Run away. Because tomorrow he's going to beat you. Sister Safi says, Kadi, our society have placed men over women. That is correct. That is very, very correct. And that's why we want to change it. The community... The spiritual community, friends, the man have, they are all contributors. Yes. When your woman is vocal, it's a threat to the family members. Very correct, Sister Safi. Very, very correct. If you mistake, talk, say that day, you get a very big mouth. I remember when... Uh, when uh, I first, uh, when Femi and they tell me the definition of marriage. I remember when my husband and I first got married. Huh. We lived in an environment where people think that uh, Kadi is the type. They, they didn't even know that I am the rebel type. If I just talk my thing, they'll say, ah, this one, I work the controller. My husband came to tell them one day, no. If she doesn't want certain things, she doesn't want it. Una leave her. Leave her alone. That was it. That was the end of those people. They would talk that, ah, ah that one, they're not going to around. She has a very big mouth. That Sierra Leone girl. In Cyprus, we were living. That's where young girl, she has a very big mouth. Don't go near her. Yes. That's what people used to tell themselves. But the reason why they were saying that is because they want to control me. You can't. <laughs> Cardi and control doesn't go to the same book. Me papa way born me, no able control me too much. He controlled me to a certain level. Now you will not know me. Now you can control me. I feel that women have been emancipated enough. Now, men have to be prepared to know how to go, how to react to this emancipation. This evolution has happened, Sister Safi. We, the reason why I called my marriage, okay, mama, old school, the reason why I called my marriage old school is because we went through something. Our children will not go through that. They have been wide awake. Wide awake. Waiting. Oh no, back. Yeah. They are now wide awake. And so that wide awake, that awakening is what we help them to tell them. Because up to today, some people have it at the back of their mind that if you if you if you divorce is bad. Hey, hey. Hello, I Anne, and how are you? If you divorce, is bad. If you divorce, it's not bad. If you don't like it, walk away. If the man they beat you, walk away. If the man they curse you, 
Walk away. They always want to put women in boxes. Always. They always want to put women in boxes. But I am here. I have come out to tell that I am part of those aunties that will not judge you if that man costs you. And you in your community, you in your society, show it out. Come out and let the young ones know that it is not going to be like that anymore. It's not going to be like that anymore. We are moving away from that. Yes, we have moved away from that. You man, if you want to know, if you want to understand that this is how the women are thinking right now, it's your business. You don't want to understand, we will walk away from you. Man beat you, walk away. Now, now, now. Man touch you, walk away. Man curse you, walk away. Man beat the children, walk away. This is Sisi Kadi's advice. This is Sisi Kadi's opinion. We are going to support you. Because look at the way that woman suffer in that marriage. All the church people are sitting down. This woman is suffering. This woman is dying. This woman is dying. Come on, people. She's singing her heart out. Singing her heart out. Maybe when she even goes to the back there, the man will draw her ears. I know, don't tell you. I told you, take the notes this way. Well done. What is this? Yeah, black black tumbler. Oh, okay. No. Sure. Yes, so daddy. Yes, sir. Yeah. It's not anymore. She has been through so much, Sister Alima. She has been through so much. And that woman, that woman keeps reminding me of Cora. That woman keeps reminding me of Cora. But like I just say, that woman was in an old school marriage. Oh. Cora is in a young marriage. You make nonsense. You get out of here. Yes. She was the one doing everything. She must have been the one. All the man is going to do. They, these, these pastor men, these men pastors, they have to understand that a pastor is not a job. A pastor is not a job. Just go on Sunday, holla, 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 holla on people's head. Is it a job? The woman was the one doing the job. The woman was the one doing the job. All he will go is, is a pastor. He jealous the woman. Jealous everything. Because he cannot do it. Go and stress that lady. Say so don't kill the lady. And now he don't put he don't put himself for oh, lady. Oh, God know they sleep. God don't fight for that girl. So that's why oh, we are begging you, Swellenians, Swellenian young women. The reason why that lady died is because she was ashamed to be divorced. So she she endured. She kept going. She kept doing. She kept pressing. She kept being patient. And you know the worst thing? Another thing I want to talk about. Oh, the sad thing. That she has to fast and pray. Fast and pray. This man is killing you. And they said to you, fast and pray. It's not fair. Samuel Tista says, Sis Kadi, if it's the other way around, the woman causing harm or stress to the man, what to do? Sister Alima, please, can you answer to Samuel Tista? That's exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about men's empowerment. It's not allowed anyway. It's not allowed towards the woman it's not allowed towards the man that's why i called you people i said come and let us empower the men too because the woman has been told that 
if the man beats you, if he curses you, and if he beats the children, walk away. But the man has not been told this. All throughout, we have been telling the man, you are the strong one. You take control of your marriage. You are the man. You are the man. You are the man. What does you are the man mean? They don't know. The men don't know what does you are the man mean. We want to tell what you are the man mean. A strong man doesn't beat his wife. A strong man doesn't curse his wife. A strong man doesn't beat the children. Because you beat the children because you have, that means you have resorted to taking corrective measures. Why are you taking corrective measures? It means something broke down. The law broke down within the family. Regulations broke down within the family. Harmony broke down within the family. That is why you are beating the child. In a home where there is harmony, there is love, there is um, um, decorum, it will not break down. You don't need corrective measures. You are doing corrective measures because it broke down. Decorum broke down. That's why. And it's the same thing that happened is for is for Hawa. Hawa. I will I'll write it down. It's two two potato leaf, one green. One, uh, one cassava. No green. No green. No one. Eh? Green don't finish. The cassava leaf is so green. Cassava leaf is no green. Yes. Alo, alo. Sorry, guys. Yes, thank you, Sister Alima. Either parties should not be in any relationship that harms any one of them. So, it's going the other way, or you, the man beating your wife, the, the wife beating you, the man abusing his wife, the woman abusing her. It shouldn't happen. It shouldn't happen. Hey, Mama. You, you think damage my family? What? Your force. My who? Your force. <laughs> he damaged your car. Yeah. Yeah. Right, good, morning, good morning. Good morning. Sorry, guys. Who is here? Yeah. Yeah. He am the one who cried. How? Right. Yes, Mama. Yes, you have to bring me one box of cassava if I have it there. We took it by mistake, please, yeah? What? To Hawa. Bring me one box of cassava if you are coming. We took it by mistake. Me, me, took yeah. me by mistake. Yeah. Are you giving me? I gave you by mistake. Then why you want? You yes, when you are coming, bring. But not come back with all bo. Why are you trying yeah. to blame me, man? Mummy, Hawa. Green no day. No man. Green no day. My African brother. Hello? How are you? I'm well. Yeah. I'm hungry. For what? Food or money or what? For food. I love our what? <laughs> How can he be hungry yeah. for love at uh, mm -hmm. on Monday morning? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. And if we don't specialize in that day. Yes. Yes, green don don no, yeah. I just want for notify you. Yes, then me don't go. The time when you ask me for the green, then me don't go. Sorry. Yeah. Am I for your job? Eh, for now for the green no more car. Eh. Eh, me self self no get green now. No, the pub me don't go with the van. The pub don't go with the van. No, 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 Okay, tell me what you want. Tell me quick. I'm busy. I 
Are they online? The kuta. Okay. Then go bring the kuta. Okay, no problem. You know what it is? They can cut on this. Oh, the person tell you don't wear yes. Okay, bye. Yeah. Two potato leaves, yeah. Yeah? Two potato Two potato two kanya. I mean, you just take kanya. Yes, I'm right here now. <laughs> the Kenya done that. What? Sister Alima says she has been going through so much. Yes, you know the shameful thing is, I heard that this man would gather the children to beat their mom. What kind of children gathers to beat their mom? Their father tied the woman, and then the children will beat their mom. Eh? It's not her children. It's not her children. Whose children? Oh, they're stepchildren. She doesn't have children. I thought they said she has four children. They said she has four children. Yes, Mamawa. Eh? Ten. Okay, no problem. Yes, I do hear you. No problem. Okay. Yes. And the green. Yes. Yeah. Okay. One Asta. It's done. Sister Alima, they said that the children are not her children. So does that mean that she doesn't have kids? Those are her kids. Those are her kids. Four kids. Say they are stepchildren. She will tie them. They will tie the woman up. And these children will beat that woman up. Hey. Two. Two potatoes. Two potatoes. Two potatoes. One uh, one yeah, yeah, I'm fine one. We can do Yes, please. I'm trying to understand this. I'm trying to understand. So those children are not her children? Who were beating her up? Why, why, why? I, I don't know. I don't know. Why would this man beat up? Now I'm sad. Now I, I'm even sad. Now I'm more sad. <sighs> Now I am more sad. He is evil. He is very, very evil. And these are the people that they have in the churches today, Sister Alima. They should check him for being a pedophile. These are the people that they have in churches today. These are the people they have running churches today. I had one other pastor. He's showing, he's showing his wife. Say, look at my wife. We have been married for 19 years. I have never one day slapped this woman. How do you know it's true? <laughs> Why would you even think that you should, you should have slapped this woman? How do you, how do you, how do you start to, 
even think Honestly. of not complaining. And, and he ties her up. And he ties her up. And gets the other children to beat her up. Why are they beating her? I think it's witchcraft. I think he used her as a sacrifice. No. No, 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 no. 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 It's witchcraft. He bought, he sold, he sold her, her, he sold her, her, her power. He stole it from her. Because he is expecting to be the next big thing. So they stole her power. Nah. No. Nah. That, that is just that is just sick. It's not it's not a normal thing. That that church that church must be investigated. Say it's a very big church, very popular church, and you can sit down and something like that can happen. No. This is why I say sometimes they have to investigate some of these churches. There should be um, health and safety workers in these churches. Honestly, there should be health and safety workers going around in these church places, Sister Alima. I don't know why it's not happening in the UK. I don't know why it's not happening in the UK, but there should be health, there should be health and safety workers in these churches. He has been arrested, but he's not alone. He's not alone. Excuse me. He's not alone. What else? I want to go. Yes, anything else going on? What you not going here? No, 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 Two potato leaf. Where the ogiri? I want ogiri, please. Hey, I have to give her some of what I have. I will say, one of the dogs, please. Me and I will share that. Hey. Then beat this woman. Then beat the woman. Then get that people there. Hey, hey. Uh, a witchcraft, Mama. It's not. It's not a normal thing. It's not a normal thing at all. But anyway, this is what I want my people to know today. That me, oh, Kadi Fresho, I say. In UK, church has churches have safeguarding officers. No. No, Leah. Hello, Leah. How are you? I don't accept those safeguarding officers because it also happens here. It also happens here. I see children, very, very sad children, dragging this. Yes, please come and talk about it later. Health and safety officers should be put in these churches in the UK. If we have it in the UK, we have churches in the UK watching over young people, watching over vulnerable people, women and everything, then we will know. Then they will start straightening because they know that they will talk. So please, can you guys take up such things because we need it. It's very sad, Sister Alima. They are called Sifas. And what do they do? They hide behind cultural barriers. Sister Lima, please join this program and explain this Sifas to me. I don't understand. Because it's not... They are not, they are not working. Because if, if they have uh, um, um, health and safety safeguarding... And they, they hide it, they disguise it through religion, then what is that? What is that? Thank you. 
So what thing I don't give? Two potato leaf, one cassava leaf. Daddy. Yeah. What you again? What do you give? Okay, we divide them into two, yeah? In the half we get. Guys, I'm going to leave you because I'm going to work. I'll join you in a minute. In 10 minutes, Sister Alima, please, let's come and talk about this. We have to come back. Thank you.